Welcome to the next lesson in your SEO mastery course. In this lesson we are going to have a look at moz.com. So moz was SEO moz before and when it comes to SEO tools moz is one of the market leaders in the entire space. In fact recently there was a report published about the monthly revenue of various SaaS companies and in that report moz had the top number where it showed that moz was earning around 2.2 million dollars every month in recurring revenue so that's how big moz is they have got many clients across the globe very big name clients like this you can see here and uh, there are a lot of features inside moz when you look at the pricing of moz it's somewhere around uh, starts with 149 dollars a month for the basic plan and there is a smaller plan th than that which cost like $99 a month but in that you don't have any free trial. So what I would recommend is that Moz provides 30 day free trial for 750 keywords and this is the $149 a month plan and $149 a month is costly for many people and even I have only signed up for a free trial and I have used it uh, mostly in the free trial. So if you have a credit card, then you can go ahead and sign up for the free trial and then just cancel the account before 30 days is over. Or you might as well go ahead and generate a virtual credit card. Use the virtual credit card to go and sign up for a Moz free trial. So here, uh, let me go ahead and log in into my account. So here you can see there is Moz Pro Home. So in this video, we are going to cover Moz Pro and not Moz local. So for Moz local, I will create a separate video because it's a different kind of product and it's more for local search. So here you can see that uh, there is only seven days left in my trial and digitaldeepak.com is the first campaign that I have created. So once you create a campaign, it will show you domain authority. So it will take some time for you to uh, get the data from Moz. So usually you can add that and then you can wait for a while before it makes all the data ready. So domain authority according to Moz is 25 here and where it is very useful is that you can go ahead and compare your domain authority with other competitors and see whose domain authority is more and over time you have to increase this domain authority. So every time Moz does an index of your website it will show you whether the domain authority has increased or decreased and over time as your brand grows and over time as you start getting more and more links your domain authority will slowly increase so in this plan with uh, 149 dollars a month plan moz allows you to track 750 keywords so here you can see that i have added 746 keywords and most of the keywords I have got from Google AdWords and Google Search Console. So I basically picked up almost all the keywords available in Google Search Console. And then I added it to Moz so that I can go ahead and track, track the rank of these keywords. It will also show you something called search visibility. So either search visibility will, will increase or decrease depending on your rankings. And that is also something that you can keep track of. So let me go ahead and open this particular campaign. So here I have added a few competitors as well. So Digital Vidya, Social Beat, Neil Patel. So all are blocks in the similar niche. And here it will also show you the domain authority of the competing websites. So Neil Patel's domain authority is 73, pretty high. Digital Vidya is 35 and it will show whether it has increased or decreased compared to the previous update. So here the previous update was on Jan 26th. So if I go ahead and click on rankings, here I will be able to see the rank of each and every keyword that I have added. So if someone searches for best institute for digital marketing, you can see that my blog is ranking number one 
and that's what i see here as well and if someone is searching for career in digital marketing in india you can see that my blog is ranking number one again so this has recently increased so it was in the third position now it has come to the first position so it has increased by two so if i click on the up arrow then i will be able to see all the keywords which has increased in rankings and if i click on down arrow then i will be able to see all the keywords which has decreased in rankings so when i look at keywords which has decreased in rankings i know that it is not a very important keyword in the sense for example if someone is searching for digital agency in bangalore obviously i don't want my blog to show up because i am not a digital marketing agency but even though i have published top 10 digital marketing agencies in bangalore so again i would say that this particular data is not 100% accurate because it differs when i am searching from a logged in account which is from my account and sometimes the search results differ when i am searching from a logged out account here you can see also if there is any algorithm update and how much your search visibility is and if it has changed because of any algorithm updates so when you compare february 24th to march 17th the search visibility has slightly decreased but not in a significant way so that's what i can track here and if i go back to the home i would like to show you some more features before i go back to the campaign section so here um, i can go to fresh web explorer to basically find out if there has been any recent mentions of my name or my brand so i went ahead and searched for digital deepak and what i would do is that i would go ahead and search for last 4 weeks so here there has not been any new mentions of digital deepak here then i would go ahead and search for deepak kanagaraju my full name so here what i can see is that if i track the last 4 weeks i can see that there has been two mentions and uh, it's basically the same article which has been republished in another website so if i go to this article and search for my name you can see that uh, in this interview in the question that they have asked share three names of uh, share names of three people who you respect when it comes to digital marketing and this person has given my name so here what i can do is that i can go ahead contact digital vidya and ask them to link my name to back to my blog and that would be a linking opportunity so basically this is similar to google alerts where it looks for mentions of my particular keyword in the web and reports it back so just like google crawler moz also has a crawler which crawls all the websites and which it will crawl your website as well and find out any errors if there are so if i go back and uh, go to crawl test so here what i can do is that i can go ahead and crawl a particular website and i can download a report and in the report i will have a list of all the urls and all the titles meta tags and meta description in a single format so if i want to review the title tags and if i want to review the meta description of several pages i can go ahead and download a crawl report so basically as i said moz has their own bot so it's called roger bot and this particular bot goes ahead and crawls your entire website just like your google crawler so one more option i want to show you is on page grader so on page grader basically shows you a report of how well your website is optimized for a particular keyword so let me check how well digitaldeepak.com is optimized for digital marketing and i if i click on grade on page optimization then i am getting an a grade here so basically with an a grade it means that it's well optimized for this particular keyword 
and here you can see a lot of suggestions related to SEO so if you have uh, like for example here you can see that keywords in image alt uh, attribute is not there in my blog so that is not having a tick mark here so optimal use of h1 tags I can go ahead and fix so basically I would um, recommend that you go over all these different criteria. So some of the major criteria are accessible to search engines. So you should not be blocking the search engines. You should not have too many keywords stuffed inside. So we already spoke about it in content creation part where we should not be stuffing too many keywords and we should have a right balance of keywords which is naturally occurring which is something like 2% keyword density. So you should avoid keyword stuffing in page title. The page title should not repeatedly mention the keyword digital marketing. You should avoid multiple page title elements. You should avoid uh, you should use broad keywords in page title. So you can go ahead and read all these factors. So some of them are very self explanatory. Sufficient words in content, sufficient characters in content. Only one canonical URL. So canonical URL is basically you are defining which is the original source of the page. So if you are having a copy of the same page somewhere else then you should mention which is the original page and basically your basic WordPress page will be the original page. So in general in most of the cases you don't need to mention canonical separately. Like for example if I am hosting a page at Instamojo, Instamojo would ask for a canonical URL where if I am copying the content in my blog post directly into an Instamojo page where I am selling something then I am basically mentioning that the canonical URL is my page which is the original page. So as much as possible don't have the content in multiple places and make sure that your content is original and this will basically avoid duplicate content issues in the search engine. So keyword in the beginning of page title keywords in meta description, optimal page title length. So most of the things are in a tick mark. So if you are having internal pages about something, then you should use keywords in the URL. So in the previous lesson where we discussed about title URL and meta description, we talked about keywords being included in the URL. So obviously for the root domain, I cannot include digital marketing in the URL because the domain name itself is Digital Deepak. So that's about it for the page grader. And let's look at what other options do we have. So another option inside Moz is Open Site Explorer. See Open Site Explorer basically shows you what are all the inbound links that you have. It shows you the domain authority. And if you have a complete URL, it will also show you the page authority and it will show you the spam score as well. So here you can see spam score is zero, which is good. So if you are planning to purchase a new domain and then if you are seeing the spam score is high, then you should not probably buy that domain. So let me search for a domain which I am planning to buy. So here you can see the spam score is zero. So no spam flags. So that's a good thing. Going back to digitaldeepak.com. So here if I want to find out what are all the internal links that I am having to my site. And in the previous lessons we discussed about do follow and no follow links. And if we look at what are all the follow links. So this is basically do follow. So I already talked about how I published articles on your story and entrepreneur.com to get backlinks from them. So here you can see these are the do follow links I have got back. So it has, I have got back links from your story, shout me loud, blog.instamojo.com, from bike advice, my previous blog. So we also have a link from digital defined. Let me check where that link has come from. And I also have this domain called learnblogging.com, but I have done a 301 redirect to digitaldeepak.com so right now there is no anchor text and you can see that uh, this is also counted as a link so these are all the do follow links only 14 links uh, Moss can actually track right now 
so here if i want to find out where he is smiling what i could do is just search for deepak here so here you can see he has linked back to digitaldeepak.com with a webinar that i recently did with uh, digital vidya not a recent one quite an old one this was published in 2015 actually so here you can find out all the links that is coming back to you and if you click on really equal to no follow here you will be able to see all the no follow links that you have so here uh, most of them are uh, comments on blogs so that's where i have got the backlinks from and obviously i already discussed that most of the comments on blogs or no follow links by default so sometimes a link might disappear you can go ahead and search for page source so here you can see where the link has been given so here it's again a comment you can see it's a comment and this is where i have linked to myself from and you can see all the no follow links and if you want to check the 301 redirects you can go ahead and select on only 301 and here you can see this is the only 301 redirect i have so that's about it for moz and if you have any questions you can leave a comment below and if you want to find out specific features of moz you can let me know and i will create more videos related to those specific features so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next lesson.